Okay, y'all. Welcome back. This is Tony. I know y'all could be many other places, but you choose to be here, so I am grateful. Now, I'm going to be sharing something that is, it is sad because, and of course, once again, it's in Jamaica. And the reason why it's sad to me, because being a healthcare provider, it hurts me to see someone have a nervous breakdown like this. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember, I think it was like last month or a few weeks ago, there was a lady at Sangster uh, Montego Bay Airport in Jamaica, and she had like a nervous breakdown. Y'all, the reason why it bothered me so much, because she's a dentist. Can you imagine you now decide that you want to take a break from whatever reason, from whatever is going on in life? And this happened. I mean, you guys take a look. And please get back to me. Watch the whole thing. Of a female American tourist who is believed to have suffered a mental breakdown at the Sangster International Airport in St. James today is still uncertain. She reportedly got into a brawl in the departure lounge and attempted to disarm a policeman before she was eventually subdued and taken away for psychiatric evaluation. Here's Nika Lewis with more. The Sangster International Airport's departure lounge in Montego Bay, St. James, was this morning rocked with turbulence of a different kind when an American tourist believed to be suffering from a mental breakdown lost control and attempted to disarm several police officers. The airport police reportedly received an emergency call that the female who arrived at the departure lounge in the company of two other women was causing a disturbance. Okay, so this is the young lady that had a nervous breakdown at Sangster's International Airport. As you can see, she's stripped her clothes off. She's throwing stuff at everybody. She's just trying to fight everybody. Now she's going to try to fight the cop. She is naked right now. The only thing she have on is her bra. And someone's trying to have her sit. It looks like they're trying to calm her down. But she don't want to hear anything. She's trying to take the police officer's gun. And she's trying to fight. She's kicking and everything. And then someone else rushed in, grabbed her or whatever. She opens up her legs, spread her legs, put her hands in there, and peed on the floor. Now, this is not this is not normal. I don't know what's going on or what happened to her. And she's screaming on the top of her lungs right now. Yeah, as you can see, it's, we try to blur it so you will not see anything, but I'm hoping you can't see anything. However, this is big. This is this is serious. Now, and to make matters even worse, like how do you bounce back from something like this being a dentist? Who, what patient would want to see you if you can't control yourself? Do you get what I'm saying? Now she's screaming, she's spitting, she's fighting, she's trying to get away. They're trying not to hold her. Because, of course, nobody wants to feel like they're violating her. She started fighting this guy again. Y'all, here she go again, still trying to get the police officer's gun. He's trying to put her to the floor without hurting her. Do you get what I'm saying? But you can see where she's just fighting. She is fighting. Now that they've controlled her, um, I think she has two friends with her there per the report and... I don't know how they feel knowing that, hey, we're with you and this is what happened. Like, I'm so sorry, but oh man, this is not good. And I believe her friend is going to try to come around and try to cover her. Of course, this is not a hospital, so of course they wouldn't have blankets. But the fact that it's an airport, I'm sure the flight she was going to go on, they could have given a blanket. But she's still kicking and acting a fool. So no matter how many clothes they try to put on her, it wouldn't have worked. She, Because she's, she's literally ripping everything off of her. So I don't know what's going on there. So whatever it is, I just hope she's fine. But they said she was admitted in the Mental Institute for Evaluation there in Jamaica. And we all know what that looked like. Because if I'm a Bellevue, I don't know where else she could go. Anyways, um, yeah. I'm guessing that's her friend standing around like chick what happened like they probably gave her some bad mushroom or some bad weed or something i don't know but that right there is not normal but i'm hoping she's okay i'm hoping that she bounced back from this um because this is tough mm -mm. i know y'all saw that that was sad
That was really, really sad. But on the other hand, can you imagine you being another healthcare worker, dentist, dental assistant, hygienist, nurse, doctor, whatever other profession you are or whatever clinician you are, can you imagine if you was a Jamaican and you invited her to your island, your country, your getaway, and on the way out, something like this happened? Then would I blame you? They would I blame you? Then would I say a bad we dig it woman for smoke? I'm just saying. I'm looking at it both ways. One way, I feel bad that she had a nervous breakdown. But the other way, they're going to say, what did she smoke in Jamaica? Hmm. Now, y'all, this type of foolishness, when in reality, she probably was slowly breaking down and that's why she probably got away. But something just triggered her. A lot of time people are going through problems and you don't know. And here we here you come with your little happy go lucky self just saying some regular random stuff. And here hmm. Listen. Guys, take care of yourselves. Do your mental health and every now and again. Don't don't let it wait for too long before you get like a mental health relief don't wait for a mental health breakdown for you to just go off on the wrong person or the wrong thing y'all please leave your comment subscribe and like and i'll find more stuff to show y'all but mm, yeah